So let's all get up for Shan, everybody. Thank you guys very much. You're too kind. This is a nice um, mellow night for everybody, right? Not too much going on. I thought I'd try to, my best to do a very, very clean set with this audience. My best. I know I've had some uh, issues in the past. Not, not here particularly. You guys are fine with that. No, no. Actually, I, I did perform at uh, Iguanas last week. Have you guys ever? You guys know Iguanas in San Jose? Yeah, I got kicked out of that place. He's an old guy. But that, that's what happens, I guess, for me. Because I like to talk about what's going on with, with my life, what's new. Like, uh, like girls usually, the lack thereof. So there is nothing to talk about with that. And I mean, I, I'd like to talk more with girls. I try my best, but they're intimidating. Because they stare at you. They don't say much. I mean, they do say things like, hello. And then the rest of the conversation is up to you. And then you can do it anyway. But I'm always thinking of different things when I'm talking to a girl like, what's your mother like? Or what type of contraception did she use? Or is she really that old? Because you can't actually ask a girl's age. That's really rude, right? And if she tells you, and then you're always like, oh, she's too old, she's too young, it's just going to happen. Speaking of age, I live with my mom on the couch. I prefer the couch, so it's not like I'm saying I'm shortchanging myself or anything like that. I, uh, I take care of the cat, but uh, he kind of takes care of me because it's, it's my son. Or I guess my kid, like the animals are like your kid, right? If you live by yourself, technically. Well, I guess since I live with my mom, the, that's like our kid. We take care of it. Well, I take care of it. I kind of have to because I have to do everything at the house because I live with my mom. I guess that's how it goes. I always like make slave jokes of her because I'm partially black, so I'm partially a slave. And whenever she makes me do chores, I feel I feel like the slave is like bringing down on me, like she's making me really like work hard. Plus we have a maid, so I keep, think it's kind of like ridiculous that she makes me clean up when the maid's there to clean up as well. And I'm not saying like I'm rich or anything. I'm I'm not. I'm really poor. But we still do have a maid. And even when I, I'll clean up something, like I'll, I'll take the trash out, but the trash probably is taken out because the maid got it. And then she'll like, good job, maid, but not to me, her son who loves her. No, why would she do that? That's okay. But I, no, I like that because I like taking the beating. Like I, I want I want to feel the pain, like the, the lack thereof of the love of my mom. That's like a narcissistic type of way of living. I try my best stuff. Like, I think even like last, last week I had, I went and bought my mom some flowers, but then she already had some from the maid. <laughs> Sucked. <laughs> I know. And then I, I, I mean, I try to have like deep conversations with my mom, and she's just like, not right now. Come on. I'm talking to the maid. <laughs> <laughs> this clean set. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> I want to swear right now. I'm talking about sex. But I won't, because I don't even have a sex life. I have had sex once, but I'm not going to get into that, because it was like 10 seconds, so it's not much to talk about. Um, hmm. what, what's new in the news? Do you guys watch the news, read the news? No one does that anymore, right? We have Google. Who needs the news, right? Although, with Google, you're not going to look at the news. You're just going to look at whatever is interesting. I actually, you can do this now. You can Google yourself, and they'll, they'll tell you, like, what's going on if anyone tells anything. Uh, let me say this right. Like, so... If you have Google and you have like Google notifications, you can input your name, and anytime anyone does anything or says anything about you online, it'll tell you about it, like directly to your mail or whatever. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't have the guts to actually like do that because I don't think there's anything about me online. I mean, I have this website I've had for like five years, ninthlobby.com, and it's had like 10 views my entire life. <laughs> Mainly me at different locations I've, I've been to. That's what you do when you have like a blogging site. It's more of an expression. I even have, a, you know, they have, this is like a Google bit. They have um, on Google, they have Google Maps where you can input your, your location and everything and it'll actually track you. So if anyone else wants to track you, they can follow you. I thought that'd be kind of cool because like if I ever got lost and my friend had it, he could like find me or something. So I've, I've been on that for a long time, but no, no one knows. It's just me tracking myself. 
cats, I won't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not, I'm not the only happy cat, so it's okay, don't feel bad. It's totally cool. Oh man. Now what am I talking about? Give me a topic. How old are you? Oh my goodness. You look 16, come on. Don't lie. You gotta get out of here. No, I'm serious. That they're coming. They are. You know what I'm talking about? Don't lie. Don't start your life off like that. That's how I started my life off. I was a liar for a long time. I still am because I'm lying right now. Because I'm obviously, I can't lie all the time. Except right now. I lie about a lot of things. I guess you lie because you're scared of what the truth could, uh, could mean. Because if you say the truth, you know, people are like, don't say that. That's rude. But that's the truth. Like, uh, hmm, okay, so that's the truth. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh, I can think of a name of a I'm sorry. It's okay. What's your name? Mateo? How do you spell that? It's like San Mateo? Yeah, uh, So, San, like, Mateo? Uh, M A T T E O. Names are ridiculous, aren't they? Why do we even have names? Like, you're always gonna say, like, buddy or pal or friend or what's up? That's then you know you don't know the person's name and you always go up to them and you just, like, get right in their face, like, Hey, that's when you know you don't know that person's name. That's me. I always said to everybody. I think I know a lot of you guys here. Some of you, and I've already forgotten half your names. Hey. Maggie. There we go. Because you're a girl. I'm trying my best. <laughs> that's like my one step up, right? I know it's not rude. I mean, I know it's bad to forget names, but I don't think it's actually rude. I don't care if people forget my name or butcher it, because my name's Shan, and that's uh, it's a Chinese name. I'm not Chinese. Trust me. I did try to learn Chinese because I don't know why my parents gave me a Chinese name. I asked them, but they were high. Then I figured it out. They never knew what they were doing. They like looked in the dictionary one day when they were like blazed, and they're like, done. They must have been the wrong dictionary though, because that's a Chinese thing. So I didn't even tell where they were. Like, what, what was going on in their head? And it like confused me for a long time. I felt like maybe I have Chinese blood or something like that. I even I tried to uh, date. Uh, a Korean girl for some reason because uh, I got really interested in the whole Asian culture and by trying to date a Korean girl I mean I didn't date her at all I failed I, I did ask her once, um, I asked her out once and she said no so okay only another three years so I asked someone else out online don't date anyone online ever oh my god Ridiculous. It's like a step back. I mean, the whole point of dating someone is that you actually get to see them in person. You know, get to meet them, shake their hand, go out, get rejected, like me. But if you date online, it, it's all like talking and lying and all this crazy stuff. I, and I can't believe that my, my sister and my mom are dating online. Like, what is the point of that? I, you can date offline, especially if they're uh, For a guy, it's a bit harder, but you just have to get some balls and actually talk to someone. And actually, that will never happen for me, but maybe. I mean, I want to get married one day, just not today. I remember I was at a, a bar last week and um, I, I, was, I was like, I'm going to go there and I'm going to talk to a girl. That was, that was my goal because that's a good spot. I don't know where else I could go outside. I mean, I could go to a park. No, that's, that's kind of creepy because you, know, you don't want to talk to like random people. But I, did, I went to the bar, right? So I was like, I'm going to talk to someone here. I brought my friend who never talks to anyone, so that's probably like a big mistake. And he was just like, right, he went right to the bar and he was just like drinking. And I'm like, I don't want to do that because I don't really drink. And I saw I saw one girl I wanted to talk to, and she was just like by herself. She was uh, she was really attractive, and she was just like right there at the bar, just waiting for someone to talk to me. She's like, talk to me, talk to me. She didn't say that, but her eyes said it. So I didn't talk to her, and then I went home. <laughs> that, that was it. That was that was my night. Many nights, but I tried. Oh my god, thank you. I got lighted, so that means I'm actually running out of time, which is good because I had nothing to talk about in this plane set, which is great. Um, what else? So, uh, I do host an open mic, guys, uh, at Dakine Cafe. You guys know over on Fremont, across from Fremont High School. It's, um, every Tuesday at, at, uh, 6.30, sign up, 7 o'clock, anyone's interested. It's pretty open, a lot of talent. Um, and since I perform comedy, I'm actually performing at Roosters next week, uh, next Wednesday. I perform a lot of different places. Uh, and yeah, that's it, guys. My queen set. I'm Shan. Thank you.